look at this 21st of December and look at that beautiful right it's dry six degrees we're gonna have a little road oh feels nice feels nice to be out bit of fresh air this last two months I've been stuck in the house I've been working all day coming home fitting the downstairs bathroom decorating my daughter's bedroom building understairs cupboard so I've been doing that every night from work till about 9 o'clock of a night all day Saturdays, all day Sundays my daughter's got her friends over today so she says oh, I need to leave the house so Trent's going to see me dad for a couple of hours and I thought it's dry I ain't been out for weeks I've got a couple of hours so I thought I'll have a little ride on the bike and we'll wish you all a Merry Christmas oh it's just, just these mirrors I've had a bit of a mess about with my mirrors because what I've got now on this mirror, I don't know if you can see it I've got the ultimate add-ons bracket what fits on the mirror, what holds my phone so that's my phone there the bike is absolutely riffy I just thought I didn't clean it from the last time I went out so I've just had my snow foam lance I thought I bright so I think my next video is going to be cleaning the bike it needs a good deep full clean and what I've done actually I've put a mirror extender on that mirror it's only like a little two inch block but it just allowed me to put the ultimate add-ons extension on it but that mirror is a lot better now it's two inches further I think I might do it to this one because the view's not bad but when I've got my 58 litre top box on it's quite wide and I can see more of the top box than I can of the rear view I've put me gerbing heated socks on today I've always got cold feet and what I've done I've got some battery packs now for the gloves so the gloves are not plugged in so I've had the gloves on for half an hour already so I'm going to try them out see how long they last on the batteries it's a bit fresh around the body, my body's feeling a bit cold that's the thing with this uh, Oxford jacket it ain't that good at stopping wind I mean I've got the thermal line in it as well I should have put my road skin armoured hoodie on that's a lot better that is oh, I forgot to put my chin guard down oh. You can tell I ain't ready for this today. Everything seems to be all... My chin guard's all of a mess. I've just now pulled my car down microphone so it's sticking in my mouth. Well, let me go and pull over. Let me get myself settled. I seem to be all in a bit of a tease here. Got the DVLA there today. Yeah, but so what? I'm going through. Right. Let's sort out my mic. And then we'll put my gloves on as well. Got my feet. My heated socks on number three. That's why my chin is cold. My neck buffs come down. on with that mic there that's better yeah so this part here is the DVLE DVLE DVLA checkpoint so what they do they hover up and down the motorway and then they pull lorries in and they check the lorries to make sure uh, I'd imagine the drivers have had their brakes in time 
they've not got any dodgy loads I can't turn the gloves on oh I think I know what I've done I think I've left these gloves switched on and the battery's flat oh. good job my hands ain't cold today yeah that one's flat oh I knew I should have charged them last night Right, just turn them off. Turn them off, turn them off, turn them off. Right, now we got to get out of here. Should we go around that lorry? I think we might. I hope you've been a good lorry driver and you're not in trouble. Thank you, sir. Yeah, so anyhow, God, all that messing about then. So that mirror's a lot better, it sticks out. The, the left hand one that could do with um, being sorted out, I think. So we've gone from all the minus temperatures. Oh no, it's now up to eight degrees. Temperatures come up a bit. I think my pin lock's going in my visor. It seems to be steaming up, only a touch. But this voice has never ever steamed up, so too much as I think I'm due a new helmet soon. Right, well, I'm gonna turn them socks down. So a Merry Christmas to everybody. Thank you all for the support this year and the previous years. We do appreciate it. Be glad we keep you entertained when we can I don't follow all these um, YouTube rules of you must have a video out every week and it must be 10 minutes long I don't bother with all that malarkey I'll just do one when I want one how long I want it to be come to a little bit of a halt on the front tour so the section we're at now on the front tour is we've just got to the British Normandy Memorial but when we got there the project manager who built it was there and he was speaking to us and he was explaining about how it got built, how, where the money come from the people there how many names them on the plaques and that there, it was really really good and I said to him would you mind doing this for us for our video if we could have a video of you talking or even just your audio as the intro for the video and he says yeah no problem at all make contact when you're at that stage so I was at that stage I emailed him last week to say I'm about to start editing it you can either provide a video or just audio it doesn't matter but I got a, an automatic reply he's on holiday till the 9th of January but I thought well while I'm here I also spoke to the like the Memorial Trust the Normandy Memorial Trust and I said is there any footage you have of the memorial being built or anything like that I'm allowed to use? Obviously then go through it, like, what's it for, what the channel's for, is it a commercial channel, is it a personal channel? Because um, obviously a lot of this, and a lot of the stuff I use in the France Tour videos is, a lot of it, it's all copyrighted, so you have to get permission to use it. You can't just go and put this stuff in your videos. And that takes quite a bit of time getting permission because one they want to check out your channel they want to see what you've done so they've checked all that out they said yeah we've got some b-roll footage we'll be in touch so we're just waiting for the ninth through and i thought well why am i waiting god that sun's blinding it's that low i thought while i'm waiting i realized i'd still got the footage from vermwe weekend so i thought i'll edit that the one where Space Boy Roy broke his leg, so I've done episode one of that. Tonight I'll start episode two, which is where we start out on the road. And we'll see if anything else happens on that ride. Because surely nothing else could go wrong. I also want to say a big thank you to all the companies that have um, supported us and looked after us. We've got Gerbing, Heated clothing, the number one leaders 
leaders in heated clothing. Road skin for the Rama jeans, their hoodies and my winter gloves. Sorry not my winter gloves, my summer gloves. I've got the road skin summer gloves and they are they're absolutely lovely they are they're beautiful so soft the leather is maxi bimoto for giving us all the products to review there's always plenty of range at maxi bimoto for us to choose from and obviously now we're in winter we'll probably review a few more of the winter items drift as always looking after us with the xl pros which I need to, I know I've got the GoPro running, but I need to get this XL Pro mounted properly. I haven't properly got it mounted yet. Because the problem is, is this GoPro, let me just check it now, it's so unreliable, you never know whether it works or not. But I want to get the drift on the side as well, and I want the both of them running. I might even have the drift as a rear facing one. But I have got the, the other microphone in my helmet, so at least on the drift. I've got the audio too, so if ever the GoPro packs up, which most times it does, I'll still have audio captured. I was thinking about a cheeky little sandwich, but I don't think the cuff's open. So, thank you, Drift. Because you know with the Drift, you switch it on, and you switch it off at the end of the day. It's that simple, it just does what it does. Sugru, oh I love me Sugru, I will Sugru anything, anything I can find to Sugru, it's having it. Sugru has always looked after us on our weekend, supplying everybody with Sugru, these roads look proper dodgy, but look at that for the sun. Yeah Sugru, thank you Sugru, you have been amazing. Slum it! for your ultimate amazing tents and it's nice actually to see when we go on these weekenders the amount of slummit tents now you know I don't know if people have bought them off my review but I won't use any other tent apart from the slummit now that is the only tent I will use I've got the two berth I've got the four berth four berth one's brilliant if if it's me and Trent or it's a weekend and you want a bit more room I absolutely love my slummit tents I mean I've camped all my life so I've had all of them I've had all the brands of tents but there's only one I'm sticking to and that's me slummit, love it right let's try some of these roads out I don't know how bad they're going to be I've not got off-road tyres on this, so I don't want to be going mad. But yeah, but all of these brands will look after us. You know, I, we don't get paid from them. There is no commission. So if I recommend a Slummit tent and they sell 100, I don't get a penny. I don't get nothing out of it. I don't want nothing out of it. And I do for that. Ultimate add-ons for our phone cases. Again, the only phone case I'll use. I've been with Ultimate Add-ons now probably a good four years. They look after us on our weekenders as well with prizes. And a lot of these, uh, a lot of these brands, uh, we have a discount code. It's normally Motor F10. That's normally our discount code. You get a little bit off. We don't get nothing from it. So whether you buy one or not, it makes no difference. But if you get a little bit of discount then good on you. I haven't really done any um, Honda press bike reviews. The last one was the NT1100. Will I get through there? I doubt it. <clears throat> if I go up here, The hard thing is now is I'm not going to be able to back myself out of here. I knew that. I knew that was going to happen. Right. Now the fun bit. Oh. <coughs> Can I go back? Let's put the brake on. <coughs> 
Jesus Scott, you should forget how heavy this bike is. Ugh. Pushing back one footed, because my right foot's on the brake pedal. Okay, all right. The adventures, eh? The adventures of motorcycling. Yeah, so I'd just like to say thank you to all those brands. To everybody which looked after us and continues to do so. And a big thank you to all of you for watching us. I still don't quite get it myself. I don't know what it is about us you like. I know we've got quite a few different characters in the group, so maybe that works. Maybe that's what it is. Now this is a nasty, nasty junction, this is. Because you can never properly see. So we've got... our Ellen Valley weekender in May. We're doing that now. Uh, we're using the campsite we use for the Verm we weekend. We're using that campsite now for both. It's a funny spelling and a funny saying, it's called Sickpool. Sickpool campsite with Seb, the owner, and the campsite, they're absolutely amazing. Seb is brilliant. We get the whole site, kind of, more or less to do what we want with it. He's been absolutely brilliant with us. It's got the communal kitchen area, so it allows us to put the food on, from Piggy's mum, Wendy. So we're going to be having the food again. Friday evening meal, Saturday breakfast, Saturday evening meal. And if there's any left, like last year, Sunday breakfast. We've then got our main tour in July, which is just the Motor of Team, and that's Swiss Alps. We're going to the Swiss Alps this year. So I've not got so much of the the mad editing to do of having to add in all the storyline, which in one way I'm a little bit gutted because I do like I know not everybody's into the war stories, but I do like that part of it. I like being able to tell a story. I like there to be a point of interest. So the Swiss Alps is mainly gonna be it's gonna be about the ride. So I suppose it will be nice to have a tour where it is just enjoying the road. And not me having to spend weeks and weeks and weeks of research before we go. Learning all the information. But you never know, there might be stuff to tell. In Switzerland. God, this road's proper crap. And then we've got the Vermi weekend again in September. We've also got the South Coast Tour put on by Brett Lever and Mr Brooks. They're going to be looking after the one down south doing Somerset and Devon and that. I'll put the dates up for them so there's plenty of room on those. And Crazy Bear is doing the Northern weekend. So I normally stop on here but I don't think I'm going to um, take the chance of all that mud sludgy leaves. So Crazy Bear's doing the Northern Weekend. And that's in August. But what a year it's been. We've had a great year. Now Covid's behind us for now. It's nice to have been given our freedom back. I've bought myself well, I've not bought myself a for my birthday. A 58 litre bag for my top box. It's absolutely massive. Because what I want to do when we go to the Swiss Alps, I don't want to take panniers. So I'm going to have just my top box, my tank bag. I'll get everything in that. I've got everything in my old top boxes. I'll get everything in that one, 58 litres. So, all I've got to do is when we get to the hotel, take the bag out the tank bag, out the top box. 58 litre bag with everything in it and then just put my helmet and the top box and leave it in there so at least I've got to carry everything 
up to the hotel every night. I just have one bag to carry. I can leave my jacket in there as well. Helmet, jacket, gloves. But I need to take them up to the hotel with me. So that'll be nice. And one thing I normally try and do at Christmas, I try and do my little bit of um, giving back, my little bit of charity or helping somebody. But I, I got to a brick wall this year. What I wanted to do, because I follow and support the Veterans Foundation, is I thought there's got to be a veteran out there, a homeless veteran, or even a veteran from World War Two who may be on their own, you know, leaving them alone. And I thought it'd be nice to find one and not let them spend Christmas alone. Would have been nice to have brought them round for Christmas dinner. But I contacted the Veterans Foundation and there's a local one to me which they meet quite regular uh, veterans at the Toby Carvery. And I approached them as well, which I can understand. You know, these people, they're not going to give out the name and address to a stranger and say, oh yeah, by the way, He's a bloke in his 90s, living on his own, there's his name and address. People ain't going to do it. So, it did become quite hard. So I've not been able to achieve anything this year, so I think I might just make the donation to the Veterans Foundation. I've got my new Gel Auto Bright stickers on the bike. I love that Auto Bright stuff, their products are so good. And I spent about a good 15 years working in, working in, working in dealerships with body shops. And the good thing with Autobrite is they are showroom and body shop products. So they know their stuff. They're not just this average, you know, motorcycle cleaning products that just pop up off the shelf. Shelf, shelf. I can't even talk today. Now, water bright. They are, uh, they are the the proper hardcore stuff. Water bright's been looking after me and getting me some proper stuff. Oh, the difference! I suppose just like any job in it. If you've got the proper tools for the job. I mean, even different things like the little gels to clean the black plastic, the grease remover, and it's amazing stuff. So now I've got the. Uh, the snow foam lance I can't wait to try that I've always wanted one of them so I'm really looking forward to trying that out yeah so I think um, after today although it's been dry the, the roads are still damp so I bet this bike's caked so I think uh, when there's a dry day I think it's going to be raining from tomorrow the next couple of days so I think once there's a dry day I think I'll, I'll make a little video of the stages when I clean the bike in no foam in it, then putting up the, the degreaser on, using the gel to clean the, the plastics, using my ceramics coating spray. We'll go through the, the lot of it and I'll show you what I use and what parts they are used for. This is Lightwoods Park. So the old bandstand there. Oh, so I might need to take my movers in, I think.
here we are, Lightwoods Park. I used to come up this bandstand when I was a teenager, just there, with me bottle of Newcastle Brown. Got myself a nice coffee and a chocolate brownie. Fun. Let's have a look at the old house. Let me show you the house. It's all been done up, look at that. Here's the bear. That's the crazy bear, a bear wood. and a chocolate brownie. And there we are, there's Bartley Reservoir to where they do the siding from there. So that's me signing off for this Christmas. Merry Christmas everybody, have a good new year and we'll see you in 2023. Oosh! Oh my life, look at this. <laughs> She's going to need a good clean. That's it, I'm done. Lighters. Doing a good job there, mate. Remember not down the exhaust. Good lad. <laughs>